Harry Kane was named uh, Premier League Player of the Year at the London Football Awards, uh, saying oh, after he picked up the award, I want to be winning the biggest prizes that there is to offer as a team, and we are not quite doing that. This is speculation, which is just going to continue to snowball, you feel, over the next few weeks about his future, Craig. Well, there's two things here. I don't think he's been the best player in the Premier League this season. Uh, I uh, am sick to death of... Uh, uh, people like Jurgen and the striking union getting all these awards <laughs> uh, for scoring goals, <laughs> and uh, and people like I think the best player. Okay, <laughs> we're not talking about that. Well, I'm saying I think the best player in the Premier League has been Ruben Diaz this year. And, uh, but I don't know what the itinerary was for this awards. And maybe you just had to play in London or Spurs or be oh, English. Maybe okay, sorry. I, I don't. I don't know. Well, what look, the uh, you, you had to be in a London team apparently. What was it? Yes. Oh, how boring is that? Right, anyway, getting to the point. Still Harry... give it to Ruben Diaz. <laughs> right. Uh, Bloody strikers. Harry oh, Kane, should yeah. he leave? Where should he go? <laughs> uh, yes, he should leave. Well, look, it's, just, it's very simplistic. Yes, he should leave. I, I think... <clears throat> I, 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 look, I think he would have regret possibly looking back on a career that could have been so much more. And I think we're starting to see that more and more from the little statements that are coming out from Harry Kane. You don't generally hear from him a lot, but when you do, it's usually something pertinent. And I think we're at a stage now, and I think he understands that, that he's at the age where it's kind of now or never. Mm. It's, it's, it's make or break. And I think from his perspective, I think it's time to go. And as I said the other week, and as I said at the weekend and Sunday after the cup final, and it's not because of the cup final, or anything like that. It's a generalisation about where Tottenham are gone and where they've been in the last 18 months to two years. And, and I think from his career perspective, try and make that move to one of the elite yeah. level clubs in Europe because he will and can lead the line. Jürgen, you cite the fan. Obviously, when we've discussed this before, when you were at Spurs, you realised you had to move on. You had to go to Bayern Munich if you're going to win trophies. <clears throat> Does the fact that... If Kane stays, does that show a lack of ambition from him? No, by no means. No, if he stays, then he's committed to Spurs and and he's uh, really convinced to win trophies then with Spurs. You know, obviously it's uh, it's down to a lot of nego um, yeah, talks and negotiations there with Daniel Levy, uh, with Spurs, and what kind of a perspective they give to him, uh, who's going to be the next manager at White Hart Lane, and and many things you know to ask from his side, but. But, um, yeah, as you said, I was in the same situation, but I was a couple of years older than he was. You know, I kind of ran out of time and I said, you know, I, I want to get a couple of more trophies, you know, in my cabinet. But, but it is a difficult, difficult decision for, um, for Harry, uh, not an easy one. Um, I think it's understandable if he would leave, um, but it's obviously the big hope of all Spurs supporters is that he stays. Frank, I forgot you were here. What do you mm. think? What, what do I think? Um, well, um, I think, and I already say that, unless Tottenham Hotspurs, you know, buy like four or five fantastic players to win the Champions League and the Premier League next season, he should go. Because as Craig said, and uh, I think everybody would agree, at the end of the day, what you want is, uh, is uh, silverware. And uh, as uh, Jürgen did, you know, when he went to Bayern and left Spurs, you know, you have to do that. I went to Chelsea. I didn't expect that the first year, but I went to Chelsea to get bigger and, uh, and get some silverware. And, uh, and it's uh, because we're all competitors. We're, we all want to do that. But just let me go back to Rio's Ferdinand comment and translate to Needham what uh, Rio wanted to say. He wanted to say that as an Englishman, in uh, talking to English media, it's better to see Tammy Abraham, an English player, uh, and he tried to defend the English players instead of uh, defending an, a German player who has a, as a, as a coach, a German coach. That's what he did. That's what he did. And he has the right to say that because I agree with you and I agree with Rio. I think Werner is very fortunate right now to have Tuchel as a coach because I'm not sure he would have stayed. But don't forget as well that he had a very good beginning of the season, Werner, and when Averst was nowhere near it and Ziyech injured, we were fortunate to have Werner. So do you, know you shouldn't forget uh, that. I, know, think, I think Frank's just having to go at Germans player. again. That's do you know, if, uh, do you know uh, 
Uh, look, I don't want to go. I, don't want I ate Neymar. I ate the German. <laughs> I ate everybody for you. I don't want to go over this point. I, I don't want to. Do, I don't want to dwell on this point. But I think. I think he's getting. I think he's getting the, the time because of the body of work that he's done in Germany, and yeah. obviously he's a he's in a, uh, a German international footballer. So there's some sort of trust there. To go back to Harry Kane, uh, looking at certain clubs, I, one club in particular that needs to make the big step, the next step is Manchester United yeah. in England, right? They have the clout, they have, I don't know, I'd imagine they have the money, maybe they don't want to spend the money. They have the strength behind them to go and make these marquee signings. If I was Manchester United, I would go out there and I was trying desperately, like they are, to claw back Man City and Liverpool, and it'll probably be that again next year when Van Dijk and Gomez and all these players are fit. Cavani's probably not going to be there, even if he does, he's, 30, what, three or four, I would go and get myself somebody like Harry Kane who's going to guarantee me yeah. 25 to 35 goals a season in that kind of side. And that could be the difference for them, even if they don't have as good a squad as City and Liverpool, that quality up front could be the difference of putting pressure on the teams at the top. And that's what, if I was Manchester United... That's what I would go and do. Obviously, they tried to get Erling Haaland uh, a year or so ago and he went to Dortmund. I don't yeah. know if they've got some agreement that maybe he'll go there or not because that's a similar scenario. But that kind of player for them, that's what they need or they will not bridge that gap. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.